Mmm. It's that time again to pull up a tipple of your choice, be it tea, coffee or a glass of wine, and wrap yourself up and batten down the hatches against what presumably is the cold winter outside. I know I've just been outside here for a walk in the rugged Irish night with the wind blowing through me hair. I got my 10,000 steps done. It was quite blustery out there, but it's cosy in here, eh? What was that George Michael song? It's cold out there, but it's warm inside. Welcome to Scary Era. For those of you who don't know, the word era means Ireland. And Ireland is a country steeped in history, immersed in it. And um, I decided some time back, took me a while to get around to it, that I was going to document Ireland, particularly at night. And all comes back to um, a kind of paranormal experience I had as a kid. Uh, growing up in an old British Army barracks, which was in Dublin, Ireland. And ever since, I've always kept an open mind. Now, when we go out at night, myself and Steve, my buddy and all this, uh, it's, you know, we're not really expecting to see anything. And indeed, some of the, the footage or the quality, you might say, leaves a lot to be desired. But that's not it. It with the dot on the eye, folks, is you are there with us at night in Ireland, presumably we do our best to get into some kind of interesting or historic location. And you can just soak up that atmosphere along with us, whether it's an old field castle or a graveyard, as you'll see shortly. Speaking of shortly, so we're going to have a potter around County Wicklow tonight. Wicklow is on the east coast of Ireland and it's known as the ancient east. We've also got the west coast, next stop America, which is the rugged Atlantic way. But we find ourselves in the ancient east, right on the coast, kind of the area of Newcastle in County Wicklow. You'll see a graveyard tonight. I'd never seen it before or since, but we pottered around it at night, looking at some of the old tombstones. The moon was up that night, I can tell you folks. And we just could come back a couple of miles, a um, mile or two from the coast where we looked at the site. Nothing much to see here, but still a very historic site, not only for Ireland, but for the world. And that was a kind of a receiving station, which was taking in messages from the world's first underground communications, underwater communications cables. So all that information was coming in from from the from Europe into England and into ourselves and I think it might have been the original test bed for the Atlantic cables that were subsequently laid um by an Irishman I have to say and um so look come along with us as well later on we went you're not going to see much here um the footage on the coast is quite dark but bear with us um, but the other place we went to was an old, mm, 15, 20 years ago, I think it was, um, it was uh, closed down, an old derelict uh, kind of facility for, oh, I suppose, wayward children. And it was an institution, if you like, that would, um, I don't want to use the words re-educate, but, but take care of them, facilitate them, reintegrate them into society, I think. Don't quote me on it, but didn't get over that wall. But before we did, I say wall. We don't really intrude, by the way. Um, and before we did, we came across a horse, a horse with no name, quite an eerie horse at night. So you'll get a look at that lovely little horsey as well, a white horse. Um, in the coming months, I don't know, next year to 18 months, uh, up my sleeve, I've also got planned to go up the north side of the east coast if you like my good friend David who I've known for many years is based up there and plan to do a couple of shoots around some of the really ancient sites like Newgrange which is like a megalithic tomb older than the pyramids also there's a battleground up there David used to live on, live on it or a gate lodge near it the old battle of the Boyne which is very historic and responsible for a lot of the north and south politics that have been have gone on ever since the, the 1600s so that old battlefield is there as well got a metal detector uh, which i've never used never took it out of its box 
Um, but I'll get around to it, but I have to watch it because the laws around metal detecting in Ireland are absolutely draconian. Completely backwards as compared with our English cousins. Um, so stick around. Come with us now. Let's explore a graveyard. Like and subscribe by all means. But remember, it'll be Mark after dark, me and you. And uh, enjoy. All right. Good. Okay, so here we are. I don't know, it's like half nine at night. Actually, there's a clock here. So we're still in County Wicklow. And this is Newcastle Parish Church, a Church of Ireland, i.e. Presbyterian Church. I'm told there's quite a few interesting graves in here. I did inquire as to whether any of them were famous people, but I got a kind of a... Oh, look. <laughs> there's the spirit of the place. The spirit of Steve. Um, so, country road down this way, and let's take the steps. Uh, just gonna do a quick turn here. Whoa. Okay. So, remember, it's not necessary the scariest places. I mean, we've been to cemeteries at night or thereabouts. We were in Merion Road there a while back. And even though it's not on Scary Era, Steve and I did the old Glen Cree Cemetery, which was all um, planes that had come down, German planes during the Second World War. Even one or two spies buried there. So look, take us as you find us. So this is a grave here anyway. You can see the railings around it. I will just say I've never been in this place in my life. No doubt there are many souls at rest here. Why don't I just shut up and let you guys look around? I love architecture. I have to just say that. I mean it. Oh. A tomb here. And I know... Listen, pull the other one. He's, he's hiding behind the wall here. So, what a gobshite. <laughs> Sorry for swearing in the churchyard. Steve, stop. I'm all your controlsions. So do you know anything about this place at all, Steve? Not much, but there's kind of uh, funny pirate markings on some of the graves, and there's some shipwrecked <coughs> all right. sailors, uh, unknown graves down the end there from Six Mile Point, just where we were tonight. Uh, they were washed up in the 1800s. I'd say you must get a lot of that kind of thing down the coast. And there's some interesting crypts down here. Okay. Interesting crypts. Take me to your crypts. I'm looking for the uh, pirate coins. They probably were here from the a pirate sign. Oh, half my little hat on me. Yeah, you So what am I looking at here? Skull and crossbones. Oh! Oh, wow. See that, folks? So I think it says that anyone that walks on that after the witching hours will be haunted forever. I also think it says that you're a dickhead. <laughs> Uh, thanks for disturbing my sleep, though, for the rest of the night. It is interesting. What? Okay, it, okay what? let me get your light so that you can... Yeah, yeah, yeah get my light. Can you see it? Here be pirates are here. Actually, hold on, I'm standing on someone's tomb, Stephen. Look, what's the, what's the writing say? Here lieth the body... I know you can't see this, folks, but I'm reading it for you. Here lieth the body of M. Peter, I think. Departed this. There's no point in me showing the folks here, but departed this life in his, tw it looks like either 12th or 
No, dwelling house. Departed his life in this dwelling house at Black. Here, Stephen, give me that. Ah, look. Hold on. At, at Black Ditch. Black Ditch. In the year of his something ago, that's what it says. In the year of his. No, I'm sorry, I can't make that out. And I think it says also. Sorry, guys. I can't, it's just too indecipherable. But I would show a little bit more respect now. I, I'm sorry if I have offended thee who's lying underneath this tomb because I just thought it was markings. First of all, I didn't realize I was standing on someone's resting place. Apologies. Maybe that's just a traditional way they marked something. Yeah, what's up? What do we hear? Besides someone's headphone. The broken. Uh huh. Okay, uh, put that hat on my head, will you? So I see what I've got to do next year. I think you should. I know what you think. I should get out of the business, but. <laughs> okay. Ladies, stop checking out Steve's ass. It's coming close to its 60th year. <laughs> As is mine. Okay, I'm not smiling now because it's getting scary. Okay, there's another tomb. Why did they put the railings around them? I heard years ago, I know it's, you don't say committed suicide anymore. You, you say you someone took their lives, but I remember that used to... No, actually, I heard way back in the day, if somebody took their life, they'd put chains around the grave. That's how awful it was. This is probably just a family tomb, and that's why it's protected. People with money, Stephen. Not a lot's changed. Let's just get a little... Oh, um, like and subscribe. I know it's a bit cliched, but would you like and subscribe if you do like these? Scary era, historic era, whatever. Because I suppose it's going to help as we go forward. Okay, so I'm going downhill now. As no doubt are my ratings. Never uphill in the first place. There's a grave. I'll let that soul sleep without me naming them. <laughs> yeah. Don't you just love Ireland? I love Ireland. So, uh, yeah, if you've got any comments to make, etc., even if they're nasty ones, I don't mind. Uh, I've got broad shoulders. Water off a duck's back. Another cluster here. Of graves. Interesting lighting tonight. You got the moon up here. So Wicklow, by the way, is known as the, this is County Wicklow we're in. It's known as the Garden of Ireland. Because it is quite beautiful and spectacular, uh, scenic in places. And no doubt, as you can see, I don't want to walk over someone's grave. Historic as well. Okay. So again, this is January the 8th, 2023. I began some of the year in hospital, would you believe? That's another story. I'm okay. I'm out of it now. So let's just see one more time if there's anything worth talking about. He's hiding on me again. He's this habit of jumping out on me. Okay. 
Okay. I think we'll wrap it up for the night. Steve, anything here? Big tomb. Big tomb. Oh. Answers on the postcard as to what this says, because I can't make it out. A crest here on the top. Steve, would you like to tell the people what you told me recently is going to happen to me about something attaching itself to me? Doppelganger. Not something a doppelganger. He made a very bad joke recently, which kept me up several nights. And that was, with all this exploration of graveyards and stuff, that a ghost or a spirit was going to attach itself to me and make my life hell. So, um, there's a Lieutenant Colonel, an army man, Cowper, of the First King's Dragoon Guards. It's a relatively recent, June 1986. Sleep well, sir. Okay. Okay, that's enough of scary area for tonight. Would you take care of yourself? Take care, because we care. Is that it, Steve? Yeah, well, I, I can't see where the unknown sailors are. Okay. Stunners, well, obviously, know. they're living up to their name, so. You need the torch. Yes. There's a Second World War one, look. October 1944. Uh, Okay. Good night, everybody. Hi, it's Scary Era. You can't really see this plaque at the moment, but it's quite a prestigious plaque, and I will show you a static picture of it very shortly. See, it's the 8th of January. Hey, that's Elvis's birthday, I think. Uh, <laughs> just gone, and of course, 2023. We're here on the coast, the east coast of Ireland. And if I step up here on this boulder without breaking my neck, which is quite a possibility. Thank you, Steve. You can see the sea out here. The moon is, the moon's up this away. The sea's that, that away. You can see that little lighthouse on the horizon. You can see Wicklow Head to our right. So we pan around here. There's County Wicklow in the beautiful Ireland. So welcome to Scary Era. By the way, for our American cousins, etc. the word era, era is, Irish for Ireland. That's not necessarily scary here tonight. It's more historic Ireland because what I want to share with you is a little building right over this way. You can just see the ruins of it. And Steve, what was this building? It was a telegraph uh, cable ending station, a receiving station from Nevin in North Wales for telecommunications. So you heard that from Steve. So it was a telecommunications receiving station. So basically the early beep, 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 dash, dash, dot, 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 Morse code. All the, the cables all terminated here from, from Nevin in North Wales. So the cables all terminated from a place called Nevin in Wales, which is right across here. And the dates we're talking about are very historic because basically what this plaque is saying, I don't know if you can see it here. But basically what it's saying is in 1886, 1892 and 1898, underwater cables were laid from here to Nevin in North Wales and carry telegraph communications until the 1930s. Then there's a bit of Gaelic at the bottom, which is something like uh, Ordiac on Lac Camorra, Shots of Lean 2003, which translates into this um, memorial plaque was laid here in 2003. Well, that's the only thing that's going to get laid tonight, Steve, I think. Yeah. Um, there might be some scary areas down in the, the bunkhouse. We might look at a bunkhouse down here, we're told. This, by the way, is a, is a, it's a, it's a, a working railway, just there. Okay, so for this part, see you later. Scary era, historic era, take your pick. So we're still out here tonight on the coast and we've gone down a couple of yards away from the receiving station we spoke about. And these ruins here, we reckon we could be talking through a certain aperture, but we reckon were possibly the uh, quarters of the station staff that operated the Morse code and the, all these underwater lines. So you can look through the windows and see if you can see any ghoulies, pardon the expression. 
I don't see any, but what I do see beyond here, you can see. Steve, what are these mountains here? Is that the. Uh, uh, well, the ones on the right is the Sugarloaf. The, the famous Sugarloaf, which I got vertigo on once. Yes. Way back. Uh, the other one over to the left over that is. Uh, I can't remember. Slaughter Hill is one of them. Oh, it's yeah. Local, probably in the distance you're seeing over there is. Lights. No, that's, that's, no. New, that's no. New Newcastle. My brother was a pilot and when he was training initially way back in the 70s, he heard a mayday over Kipur. Mayday, mayday, Kipur, Kipur. That's what I heard. Anyway, that's a useless piece of information for you. There's a plane coming in over the coast, as do many of them every 60 seconds, 90 seconds or so into Dublin Airport. Oh, um, while I'm here, I'm going to give you guys a fright, because here's my hat. I think you'll agree it's not very fetching on top of my oversized head. You can see the lighthouse where you stayed. Oh, we stayed on a lighthouse here this year. A couple of times we've stayed in it. So that's the dark part of the hill over Okay, there. so is that, so, so that's the, the, the operating lighthouse is there. And the dark one. Yeah, the old Wicklow head lighthouse is just to the right of that one yeah see it flashing there folks flashing for your new 2023 all the best luck in the world do you think we're going to go to a graveyard next Steve? yeah did you hear the the, the quaver in my voice do you think we're going to go to the graveyard steve please don't kill me mr ghost talk to you soon on scary era so Steve and I are on our way back, but we discovered this beautiful eerie horse. Hello, eerie horse. At night. Our dogs barked in the car, so they frightened it. But it's... It's coming around, aren't you, horsey? Hello, sweetie. What are we going to look across the road at, Stephen? school uh, old kids or something like that. for wayward errant children delinquent is that the word uh, I, so. I should know because I was a delinquent kid myself I came from a broken home I broke it that was just a joke <laughs> that's a symbol you see how cocky I am in a second now as we look through here and see what What's on the other side, boys and girls? What's it called? River Lodge. River Lodge. There's not much to see from here. You see this there? The cross. The cross. But it's abandoned now. We see nothing, by the way, guys. We know that. in sure it's locked man I don't want to trespass because I'm a good good Christian boy oh well um, I'm glad are you like x-ray vision or something because I can see nada now yeah because you've got the lights on what do you mean really? I've got the lights on your light your eyes are because of my well I turn my little hat yes, off. You do. I turn your phone off. Well sure. So I can't kind of film if my phone is off. Yeah, but you look for it, see it, and then you get the moon light. Oh god, just let me out of here now. It's you're boring me, Stephen. You're the hound of the basketball. Well I can subscribe, even if it's for Stephen's inane commentary. Because it certainly is an A plus when it comes to mine. Oh, is that it what you're talking about over there in the trees? Huh? No. No. Up there, behind the Ooh, tree. Just about. There's all the way behind that big tree down to the other side. 
Okay, well, look, I think we call it a night and we'll come yeah. back here some other time. Now, that's not what my trousers need at this hour of the night. It's you making me poop. Okay, that definitely is it on an Irish country road for this episode of Scary Era. Again, American Cousins Era is the Gaelic word for Ireland. But you'll find many a country road here. Country roads take my home. Okay, take care because we care. Bye.